Hey everyone, and welcome back to our Madden 15 My Player Career. You see right now the 8 and 2 Eagles will be taking on the Cowboys. We are still 85 overall rated second string middle linebacker. That's pretty good considering that we were an undrafted free agent out of Delaware. I think we have done pretty good. Uh, guys, if you don't already, please make sure you follow me on Twitter at v 12 tn Eagle. And also, if you're enjoying the series, please remember to drop a like, please comment, please subscribe. Do enjoy seeing those thumbs up as they help me grow. Speaking of which, uh, if you missed the other uh, episode the other day, I have uh, just gone over 300 subs this week. So much appreciated. And I just want to thank everyone for all the support. Uh, you know, it's tough right now with as many YouTube channels as you have out there. You guys do have a choice. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, we're going to get into the game here against Dallas. We're going to sniff out the screen. It didn't matter. He still went around us. But we did end up turning around and get in on the play. Uh, so not too bad there. And you see the running back there. It was uh, Roy Hello from uh, who plays for Washington now. Uh, but in the game here, he has moved on to Dallas. I thought that was a little bit interesting. But here, Romo's going to drop one off short. Uh, but that is a pretty solid tackle right there from us. I really thought he was going to be able to get away uh, on that third down play. But we were able to get that tackle. So pretty good stand there, and you can see offensively we've already put 10 on the board. We're now moving all the way into the third quarter, as there was not a lot going in earlier. And then, <laughs> how about that hit? Welcome to the middle of the field, sir. Like, he, that's just textbook going across the middle. He gets his hands on it, and then, boom, just laid him out. So that was awesome right there. It's always good to get those kinds of hits on the opponent. And then here you'll see the view that we get when we are not on the field. It's 31 to 10 right now, winding down in the fourth quarter. Tony Romo, he's doing what Tony Romo does. He's throwing fourth quarter picks. Sorry for all you Dallas fans out there. It's just kind of the reality, I think, with Mr. Romo. But we will take that as we take it to the house for the pick six. Add on seven more points for Philadelphia. And we kind of roll through this game as well. Now 38-10. Uh, just over a minute to go, Tony Romo almost intercepted by us. Uh, we had another defender jump up there, uh, but then we also had a chance we jumped up. Would have been nice as that would have been our first career interceptions. We ha uh, interception, we haven't had one yet. Uh, but then again, here just over a minute and uh, Tony Romo, yeah, fourth quarter interception. And uh, which, you know, you can't really say much there. They're just trying to drive the ball down the field as quickly as possible. So probably force a couple into the pot, into the coverage. But uh, nonetheless, we will take another fantastic win for the squad. A 38 to 10 a win over the hated rivals. And uh, we're looking pretty good right now. Pretty good. So uh, nine and two now going against the two and nine Dolphins in the next game. And you can see you know, we have 443 XP. As we went into our training and kind of did everything, really pushing, uh, you know, and trying to hold on to some of the XP is to see what would be next as far as upgrading. And, and obviously, once we get up to this level, they're starting to become a little more expensive. So, uh, you know, it's it's hard to spend all of the XP at once. And, you know, sometimes it's better just to hold on to them anyway. So, uh, you know, right now we're just hanging on and, and we'll see what we do after the next training session. But uh, we'll go into this week's game again against Miami. And uh, they have Chance Wheeler at quarterback, who has five touchdowns and ten interceptions. That's pretty good, considering, uh, you know, defensively, I think we're ranked second or third in the league right now in a takeout, uh, take out, take a way, take out. Yeah, take out uh, and take away. So it uh, should do pretty well for the Eagles. And as you guys watch this, this is Tuesday. So the Eagles actually uh, played very well last night against Carolina. It was good to actually see Mark Sanchez come uh, back from the quarterback dead, so to speak, and uh, he actually looked really sharp last night, so that was good to see. Uh, we're going to get into this game, and we'll get it started on our special team's duties, and we'll just go down there and get things done, bringing the man down, and then we'll get going here on a third and 11 towards the end of the first quarter. Chance Wheeler and the Miami Dolphins, uh, kind of pretty good coverage right here, and uh, they're going to end up coughing it up, and I dive in there, I almost... Got the fumble recovery, but was unable to do so. Uh, but you can see here, as we get another opportunity, we are up now three to nothing. It's third and three for Miami, uh, just under five in the second quarter. 
Kenneth Wheeler is going to take off, and that is not a good decision, son. That is not where you want to go, and we just level him. Ball comes out. We scoop it up on defense. We take it to the house. Thank you very much. That is what we'd like to see from our middle linebacker. Look at this hit. Boom. Ball comes out, and that's exactly what we hope for on defense. So now uh, we have uh, moved it up to 17-6, to six, just under five in the third quarter. Miami with the ball on a kickoff, and we'll get down there. We'll, we'll do our job again on kickoff duty. So a couple tackles here on kickoff. I really don't like doing kickoff, but I will say it's usually a pretty – Pretty decent opportunity to get down and make a tackle if the uh, if the ball doesn't go out of the end zone. So uh, that being said, they will now punt it away uh, to us with the fourth and two, and that will pretty much wrap up the game. And now the Philadelphia Eagles are ten and two, looking pretty good here in our second season of our my player career. And we'll look at the uh, the stats for that game. And again, we had look at Brandon Spikes, ten tackles. Okay. Uh, but we had six tackles as well as a forced fumble in there as well. But that will do it for this episode, guys. Again, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.